All right, fourth graders, we are on unit four, week two this week, and our story is Encantado, Pink Dolphin of the Amazon. So you can get out your word collectors and be ready to learn some new words this week. Our first word is aquarium, and a sentence using that word is people watch the fish swim in this aquarium exhibit. So look at the clues in that picture and then the clues from that sentence and think about what does aquarium mean. An aquarium is a building used for showing collections of live fish, water, plants, and animals. So if you look at this picture, it's another picture of an aquarium. And as you can see, people are watching all the different fish and there's some different plants and animals in there. So maybe you've been to an aquarium before and you're able to make a connection of a time you visited one. So I'd like you to think about why do you think people like to watch fish in aquariums? So if you've been to one before, what makes it interesting or fun to visit an aquarium? Our next word is surface. The turtle comes to the water's surface to breathe. Okay, so using the clues from that sentence in this picture, what do you think the word surface means? The turtle comes to the water's surface to breathe. Surface means the top of the ground, soil, or body of water. So the top of the ground, soil, or body of water. So in that picture of that turtle, it was on the surface or the top of the water. Our next word is enchanted. A fairy tale might take place in an enchanted forest. So what do you think enchanted means? We have a picture of an enchanted forest. And it makes me think of fairy tales. So what do you think enchanted means? Enchanted means charmed or delighted. Charmed or delighted. And enchanted can also mean put under a spell. So there's a few different meanings. Charmed and delighted. And also put under a spell. So the word enchanted is definitely related to fairy tales. And it's a word you might find in fairy tales. Our next word is glimpses. This man is taking glimpses from behind the door. So look at this picture and think about what does the word glimpses mean? So glimpses are short, quick views or looks. Short, quick views or looks. So think about if you took a glimpse at some pictures would you remember details of them? So if you gave short, quick views or looks at some pictures, would you remember a lot of details of them? I would think no, because if you're glimpsing at something, you're looking really quick, um, so you probably wouldn't be able to recall a lot of details when you glimpse at something. Our next word is dolphins. These dolphins are leaping in the water. So this should obviously be a familiar word to you. Um, and this picture gives us a lot of clues if it isn't. Dolphins. Dolphins are sea mammals related to the whale, but smaller. So we'd find um, dolphins in the water, in the oceans. And they are sea mammals, and they're related to the whales, but they are obviously much smaller than whales. Okay, maybe if you've been somewhere tropical, maybe you've seen a dolphin before. I know I've swam with dolphins before in Mexico. Um, so maybe you have experience seeing them or swimming with them or seeing them on TV um, and can make some connections. Our next word is flexible. 
the seal is showing how flexible it is. So if you look at this picture of the seal, it's showing how flexible it is. So using those clues, think about what flexible means. So flexible means easily bent or not stiff. Easily bent or not stiff. Okay, so I included some pictures of some things that are considered flexible. So the first picture, we have um, a flexible pen. Maybe you've seen those before where they're bendable. Okay, so that would be flexible. Also a slinky. If you've ever used a slinky before, it can bend really easily. So that would be flexible. And then the last picture is of some bendy straws or flexible straws. Um, so you're able to twist them around and bend them so they're not stiff, so they're considered flexible. So in this picture, there are some things that are flexible. I want you to think about what are some things that are not flexible. I think about um, a regular pencil is not flexible. A bendy pencil is, but a regular normal pencil we use every day is not flexible. Um, you think of like a tree trunk or tree. Um, they are not easily bent usually. They would snap. They're very stiff. You think of um, like a wooden ruler. Okay, that would not be bent easily. If we bent it, it would be stiff and it would probably break. So those things would not be flexible. Our next word is pulses. This graph shows pulses of sound in a visual form. So this graph shows pulses of sound in a visual form. So this graph is showing like if you recorded something, um, the higher those pulses are, that means the louder you're talking. So the, if you look at where it's a lot smaller, that means it's quieter. Whereas these taller ones, the pulses are louder, which means a person must have been talking louder or making noises that were louder. So pulses are any regular measured beats. So in that picture, those pulses or that sound was measured. So an example of pulses is the beating of a heart. Okay, so your heart pulses and it beats regularly, or it should be beating regularly. And then also the pulses of sound hitting your eardrum. So whenever we hear things, our ears are picking up on those pulses to hear that sound. So pulses are any regular measured beats of sound. And that is our last word um, for this week, kiddos. Remember to rewind and rewatch if you missed anything or want to um, revisit anything. Thanks for being active learners today.